In high school, I never understood going to school to skip class on campus. That made no sense to me. If you didn't want to go to school, stay home. I'd be in driver's ed class outside on the bleachers, look over and see kids skipping every single day, like literally skipping. La 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 la. And at my school, skipping was like a really big problem. So if you ever got caught, it's Saturday school or detention. Not worth it. I go to school and forget that I have a massive test that I didn't study for. So, Bump it, I'm just gonna skip. And lately I've been getting a lot of subscribers from England, Australia, and Canada. I don't know how schooling works over there. At my school, we had three lunches and one long class that you just stay in for that whole time until it's your lunch. And I had the last lunch, so all I need to do is skip class for the first two lunches, and then we Gucci. So I'm standing in the hall thinking about this, and then the late bell rings, so I'm just like, okay, well it's now or never. And over by art and photography, there's these bathrooms that are single stalled, that I always smell wacky tabacky coming out of. So I walk over there, and there's an open stall. I go in, I hide, and then I wait for the first bell to ring. So kids start going into the lunchroom, and I'm thinking to myself, I could hide in here for an hour. Or, I could be a fatty, and eat at all three lunches, and if you've seen any of my Instagram stories or my Snapchat stories, you already can know which one of these I picked. I had my main squad, Willie and Bandit, in high school, but I'd also squad hops. I was cool with the Jamaicans, the goth kids, the nerds, the popular kids. Okay, I wasn't really friends with the popular kids, but you get the idea. I've never been to this first lunch. It had a completely different vibe. But please believe, I was chilling with my Asians over there like... <laughs> Bell rings, everybody starts leaving the lunchroom, I start heading back to my bathrooms, and there's an administrator blocking it. <laughs> so my new mission objective is to find a new bathroom, and then I'll just come out for a second lunch, boom, we good. And now the administrators are watching all the kids going into the classrooms, I don't got no class over on this side of the building, so I walk outside and I'm acting like I'm going to another building, and then I hear, hey! Uh, did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything, I'm just gonna walk this way now. Then I hear her say, hey you stop! And then, I ran. If you ever run from administrators, that's three days suspension. I sprint for like 30 seconds and I thought I lost her. Look over my shoulder and she is right there like <laughs> I'm 16 and a half years old and you're like 70. How are you keeping up with me? I ain't going back to jail. I did my nickel. I ain't going back. I'm guessing a lot of kids ran from her because I felt like John Connor being chased by the T-1000. So I'm zigzagging, running around corners, I find a bathroom, boom, kick open the door. There's 10 other dudes in this boy's bathroom looking like refugees, all skipping, waiting for their next lunch. So there's like a 10 minute window between when lunch gets out and the next lunch starts. So I just have to not get caught before that next bell rings. So I'm chilling in the bathroom and then I hear the double doors at the end of the hall open and then I start hearing heels. None of these dudes know what's going down. So I run into a stall. Thank God there was nobody in it. We're in a boy's bathroom. She, she, she can't come in here, right? So the heels keep getting louder and louder and then she gets to the door and cracks it open and she goes, I know you're in there. Nobody says a word. If you come out now, it's not gonna be that much of a punishment. But if you make me go and get a male administrator, everybody in here is getting suspended. I'm dripping sweat. Sweat is coming out of my booty cheeks right now. My mom is from the Caribbean. I know if she finds out I ran from an administrator and got suspended, she's gonna beat me with a fridge. So once she's threatened that she's gonna get another administrator, one guy cracks and he comes out. Is anybody else in there? Yeah. So then another kid who's always in trouble, we'll just call him Dre. Dre is like, forget it, whatever, I'm in here too. Who else is in there? You better not cover for anybody. So he walks back in and like Dre is cool. He ain't gonna snitch. You, you, and you, and just rats with no hesitation. And then he starts walking out and she's like, is there anybody else? Oh, let me check the stalls real quick. What the H, Dre? I hear him open up the other stall. You and you, out. He opens up my stall and she was like, is there anybody else in there? And he looks me dead in my eye and he goes, nah, I said it's all clear. Ain't nobody else in here. Me and Dre never even talk. We have gym class together. And we, I never said two words to this dude. Needless to say, that was the last time I ever skipped class. Ever.
See, you sit here, and then you look at the camera. These are my neighbors. Have y'all skipped before? Have we skipped? Mm -hmm. And don't look here, look there. Oh, Show a hands yeah. if you skipped class yes. before. I, okay. On campus? I skipped had 163 once. absences my senior year. I tried it once and almost got expelled. But my dad was a teacher, so nobody cared. <laughs> no, that was me pushing your mind. <laughs>